so good morning all so we'll today we'll be taking your presentation on fungal infections but to be complete new hai hamara na nail ke functions फटो फट बता दो विल गो डायरेक्टली टू साइज मूवमेंट्स ऑफ द फिंगर टू मूवमेंट्स में कैसे हेल्प करेगा नहीं ग्रिपिंग में काम आएगा सो इट्स बैक ये जो पीछे है ना इट गिव सपोर्ट टू होल्डिंग एनी ग्रिपिंग कोई भी चीज आप उठाते हो अगर ये नहीं होगा तो सारा पीछे चला जाएगा सो इट्स हेल्प इन ग्रिपिंग ऑफ एनी ऑब्जेक्ट आप एक ये बैक सपोर्ट मिलता है उसको ना जो सॉलिड सपोर्ट है आप उसको उठा के दबा सकते हो ओके नेक्स्ट 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 बचा फंक्शन नहीं बचा व्हाट इज द अदर पार्ट ऑफ स्किन दैट इज स्टिल रिमेनिंग नेल्स हो गए स्किन हो गई बोलना नहीं चाह रहा है कि क्वेश्चन वहां से ही शुरू होगा पता तो सबको है स्वेट ग्लैंड पार्ट ऑफ स्किन अदर स्ट्रक्चर विच इज इंक्लूडेड इन डर्मेटोलॉजी स्किन हो गया मेजर ऑर्गन लार्जेस्ट ऑर्गन ऑफ द बॉडी नेल्स हो गए अदर इज हेयर हेयर कैसे भूल रहे हो आप ना इसके तो मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट आपको बॉडी से ज्यादा हेयर की परेशानी सबको ज्यादा होती है हेयर कंप्लेन्स आर द मोस्ट मोस्ट कॉमन कंप्लेन्स इन डर्मेटोलॉजी हेयर के क्या फंक्शन है फर्स्ट बेंच में बताएं आप लोग फंक्शंस ऑफ हेयर कॉस्मेटिक अपीयरेंस फर्स्ट इंप्रेशन इज फ्रॉम द हेयर नेक्स्ट हेयर का और क्या फंक्शन है protection of protection from heat kaise fir body pe protection kahan gaya heat to puri body ko lagegi na bhagwan ne sir pe kyon diye bal usko function hoga skin ka it's not a vestigial organ next यू वी प्रोटेक्शन फोटो प्रोटेक्शन ठीक है ना हमारा मेजर एक्सपोजर टू द सन इज ओवर द स्कैल्प तो स्कैल्प को भगवान ने बचा रखा है हेयर दे के कि वो डायरेक्ट सनलाइट हमारे सिर पर नहीं पड़े गंजे होते हैं उनको बहुत सारे प्रॉब्लम्स होते हैं फोटो एक्सपोजर के कारण सर्टन ट्यूमर्स आर ऑल्सो देयर ओवर द स्कैल्प बॉल्ड होने के बाद दैट इज अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट फंक्शन ऑफ स्किन स्किन प्रोटेक्ट अस फ्रॉम वेरियस ट्यूमर्स जो मेलेनिन स्पेशली मेलेनिन हमारा ज्यादा है इसलिए वी आर प्रोटेक्टेड फ्रॉम मेनी स्किन कैंसर बेजर सेल कार्सिनोमा स्कोमे सेल कार्सिनोमा एंड द मोस्ट डेडेड इज मेलेग्नेंट मेलेनोमा बट सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक टूडे सो टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट फंगल इन्फेक्शन वी हैव जस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स विल रश अप विद द टॉपिक फंगल इन्फेक्शन कौन कौन से सुने हुए हैं आपने एनी फंगल इन्फेक्शन दैट यू नो ऑफ स्किन फंगल इन्फेक्शन बोलो एक दो तो पता है हमको ना डिस्कस हो भी चुके हैं वो सारे ना कैंडिडियासिस एपी एपीडर्मोफाइटोन इन्फेक्शन क्या होता है एपीडर्मोफाइटोन कौन से वायरल इन्फेक्शन टीनिया टीनिया इज वन ऑफ द फंगल इन्फेक्शन ठीक है ना सो दिस इज so natural defense against fungi so how the skin protects us from fungus infection fungal infection sorry so fatty acid content of the skin so this is one of the function that we missed so it is from the sebum production so sebum is produced which is secreted we were talking about excretion of sweat gland only so secretion the sebum is secreted which helps protect our skin from fungal infections so fatty acid content of the skin pH of the skin mucosal surfaces and body fluids epidermal turnover so there is regular turnover in the epidermis so skin is being rejuvenated which helps in repulsing the fungal infections or any external infection that are 
getting hold of on the skin and normal flora we have a normal flora of the skin which contains bacteria certain good bacteria and certain fungal constituents also over the skin this is what we call is normal flora which keeps the skin under control and which doesn't allow the pathogenic bacteria or fungal infections to take hold of so predisposing factors in fungal infection one is tropical climate this climate that we know our climate is also very hot and there is lot of sweating which predisposes for fungal infections manual labor population so fungal infections is much more common in these people who are working outside in the sun with lot of sweating those who are sitting inside the air conditioned chambers are well protected from such infections low socio economic status profuse sweating friction with clothes synthetic inner wears malnourishment and immunosuppressed patients so immunosuppression leads to all sorts of infection and fungal infection is one of them hiv congenital immunodeficiencies patients on corticosteroids leads to immunosuppression which leads to much more infections and one of the common infections in malnourished and immunosuppressed is fungal infection immunosuppressive drugs and diabetes so in diabetes we find that fungal infections are much more common so this is pteria is versicolor i think we saw few photographs of this entity before when we were discussing macules and patches and so clinical features there are mainly three types of fungal infections that we see in day to day practice one is the superficial fungal infections of the skin second is which includes pteria is versicolor and other entities then there are infections of subcutaneous tissue and third is systemic fungal infections that is it enters the blood and systemic dissemination is there so three common are superficial subcutaneous and third is systemic so clinical features in cases of pteria is versicolor is caused by malassezia furfur so common among youth genetic predisposition multiple discrete discolored macules thin head size to large sheets of discoloration actually discoloration is there versicolor means so in dermatology from the name you'll just find out the disease and the presentation versi color means versi means various colors so versi color it is of various colors it may be hypopigmented it may be hyperpigmented it may be erythematous also so various colors gives name of versi color to this one pteria is versi color scratch sign is positive so this you'll all see in the clinical postings so this is picture showing hypo and hyperpigmented so hyper also is there hypo is also there sometimes erythematous also we see so that's why it is called pteria is versicolor so hypopigmented and confluent macules on the face coalescing to form a patch so macules once they coalesce they form a patch so if you take 0.5 cm then less than 0.5 cm is a macule larger it becomes a patch hyperpigmented macules with brownish scales So this is a case of tinea versicolor or pteria is versicolor what we call multiple small to medium sized well demarcated hypopigmented macules on the back of an individual So this is a KOH mount or KOH and this is a bedside procedure where we just take the scales from this lesion and prepare a slide with potassium hydroxide and this will show this is the appearance of pteria is versicolor under microscope if we make a slide with potassium hydroxide so potassium hydroxide is used to dissolve the keratin keratin is dissolved only the fungal constituents are remaining over the slide and it gives the appearance of spaghetti and meatball appearance so this is appearance you can find structures which are round or spherical with which are similar to the meatballs and spaghetti so this is the common appearance of pteria is versicolor on microscopy in a koh mount investigations wood clamp examination can be done so wood clamp is the instrument when we see the lesion under wood clamp the color changes and it is diagnostic so in cases of pteria is versicolor the color changes to yellowish yellowish fluorescence is there and koh preparation we already covered so 
so it gives the appearance of meatball and spaghetti what are the differential diagnosis in cases of tinea versicolor or pteriasis versicolor so it has to be differentiated from vitiligo because it is hypopigmented or depigmented pteriasis rosea secondary syphilis seborrheic dermatitis erythrasma melasma so these are uncommon differential diagnosis that we will not discuss so vitiligo that you should know of ki hypopigmented hai depigmented hai to safed patch mein vitiligo yaad rakhna hai aapko hansen's disease yaad rakhna hai these two are important differential diagnosis and sometimes seborrheic dermatitis on healing leads to hypopigmentation so all this is not very important for now it's all for the clinical posting when you come to the department we'll show all the cases and there the differential is becomes much more important hypopigmented macules on the trunk note the absence of scaling so this is pre vitiligo or a part of vitiligo this is differential diagnosis in case of tinea versicolor and rosea is usually red it's not a differential diagnosis but once the lesions heals they lead to hypopigmentation or post inflammatory hypopigmentation that should be differentiated from tinea versicolor treatment part is a long list of treatment usually nowadays we are giving fluconazole so there are different regimes of fluconazole that is being used in tinea versicolor the commonest one is 400 mg stat dose so single dose is given to the patient that takes care of this infection and local application of antifungal creams like laliconazole clotrimazole myconazole there are so many azoles group which are used in cases on all the cases of uh, fungal infections the only important thing is that the stat dose or whatever dose you are giving for treating tinea versicolor the lesion will not disappear it's hypopigmented lesion so it will remain hypopigmented for a long time the fungal constituent is taken care of okay, that is eliminated but the infection the appearance will take a long time to cover or recover so hypopigmentation will go with within 2 to 3 months the infection goes within few weeks scaling will disappear soon so scaling uh, shows that infection is persistent so once scaling goes that means the case has been treated hypopigmentation will take a long time to resolve it recurs if predisposing factors are not taken care of so predisposing factors are very important if it's a hot humid climate you are working outside lot of sweating is there then the chances of recurrence are much more in cases of fungal infections minimizing sweat so it's not just the treatment there are other things we should take care of minimizing sweat frequent washes control of immunosuppression so these all things these what we call our general measures are important along with the treatment other is petrosporum folliculitis so it has the same pathogen as tinea versicolor but it leads to folliculitis it involves the follicles which leads to folliculitis so etiology is same that is malassezia furfur age group mainly in teenagers young adults and clinical features are itchy papular and pustules scattered on the shoulders and back so this is the difference is that the lesions are in folliculitis are usually folliculitis mein kya hota hai what is folliculitis hmm yahan se bolo ek ek karke bulane ka koi fayda nahi ek jana ko ye bolo what is folliculitis so main i think day before yesterday we discussed a lot about all such lesion folliculitis is inflammation or infection of the hair and what is the sign or symptom in this case these cases kya hota hai patient ko baal tod aapne suna hoga na baal tod ho gaya usme kya bolta hai patient kya ho raha hai mere ko kuch to bolta hoga jalan ho rahi hai khujli ho rahi hai pain hota hai isme so folliculitis usually are painful so these are all bacterial bacterial folliculitis leads to pain inflammation is there pain is there but certain folliculitis are itchy as well is cases mein itchy hoga this is a fungal infection of the follicle which leads to folliculitis what we call is petrosporum folliculitis which is itchy 
पेशेंट कहेगा पूरे बैक पे लीजन होंगे पेपिलो पुस्टुलर बट देन दीज आर इच्ची रादर देन पेनफुल देन ट्रीटमेंट रिमेन्स द सेम सो ऑल दिस एंटी फंगल्स वी आर यूजिंग एट्राकोनाजोल कीटोकोनाजोल फ्रूकोनाजोल टर्बिनफिन सो दिस इज द पिक्चर शोइंग इच्ची फॉलिकुलाइटिस और पेट्रोस्पोरम फॉलिकुलाइटिस एरिदमेटस Papillo pustular lesions on the mid chest and shoulders. So in dermatology, the lesions, as we were discussing last time, the color, the type of lesion, primary lesion, secondary lesion, special lesion, which part of the body it is covering. So this sentence covers most of it. So it's erythematous, reddish, papillo pustular lesion on the part where it is occurring, mid chest and shoulders. These are the seborrheic areas. And the thing remaining in this sentence is. What is the symptom of the patient? Is it painful, itchy? So it will be itchy erythematous papillopustular lesion. So this is classical of petrosporum folliculitis. So it involves the follicle and the pathogen is the same as senior versicolor. Dermatophytosis. What is dermatophytosis? Is the tinea that you are telling. So fungal infection most common one is dermatophytosis or the various types of tinea there are three genera microsporum trichophyton and epidermophyton aap epidermophyton jo bata rahe the bahut aage chale gaye the aapne so these three genera one is epidermophyton they can be zoophilic anthropophilic geophilic so as the name suggest name tells you what exactly is the type zoophilic is what is what does the term zoophilic stands for from the animal it is transmitted through the animals to the humans other is anthropophilic and geophilic geophilic is from the soil thrive on dead keratinized tissue within the stratum corneum of the epidermis within and around the fully keratinized hair shaft and in the nail plate and keratinized nail bed so it involves all the parts of skin skin ko bhi involve karega nail ko bhi involve karega hair ko bhi involve karega and usually the dead keratinized tissue dead tissue mein hoga it's a superficial dead tissue that is stratum corneum dermatophytosis the predisposition again is the same as other fungal infections poor hygiene malnutrition hyperhidrosis hyperhidrosis is what is hyperhidrosis excessive sweating so it is hyperhidrosis jahan sweating jyada hoga fungal infections are much more common sweaty area mein where the moisture is much more aise regions mein jahan hot and humid hai wahan fungal infections are much more common immunosuppressive state diabetes and cushing's syndrome dermatophytes are keratinophilic that means it involves the or keratinocytes keratin part the superficial corneum stratum corneum the topmost layer is a sheet of dead cell containing protein called keratin stuck together form a rough barrier this barrier when dry allows fungi to stay on the surface but stop them from piercing it this barrier when moist become porous and sucks in the fungus like a sponge so if it is dry fungal infections are not there it doesn't it's not allowed to enter into the skin but if it is wet then it becomes bit porous and fungal in fungus hyphae they enter through the skin now dermatophyte common term is ringworms as the patient say mujhe ringworm ho gaye most of them they are able to recognize this entity the terminology according to the area the term of the fungal in this fungal infection is different if it involves the head then we call it as tinea capitis then tinea fasciae is the face tinea barbae tinea corporis corporis is the body the trunk the major part of the body tinea cruris is in the creases the uh, intergluteal region in the groins tinea mannum tinea pedis and tinea unguum is the nail so all this are uh, terminology according to the involvement of the part of the skin tinea capitis is invasion of the hair shaft by the dermatophyte fungus clinical features it's common in children why it is common in children बच्चों में टीनिया कैपिटिस इज मच मोर कॉमन देन द एडल्ट वॉट इज द रीजन फॉर दिस वन अभी आपने फंक्शन ऑफ स्किन में बताए थे ना 
so this is area where the secretion of sebum is less puberty mein sebum secretion is much more common so sebum protects from any sort of fungal infection so bachcho mein sebum secretion hota nahi hai so this is the part which is much more common to be involved by fungal infections common in children with poor nutrition hygiene rare after puberty because sebum is fungi static so this was the function of the skin which we were talking about wide spread wide spectrum of lesion so there are many types of tinea capitis again these are divided into four types of involvement of the fungus in the scalp it may be dull gray broken off hair little scaling severe painful inflammatory so on and so forth we'll see the pictures better to see go through the pictures that is that will be easy, it, it will be easy to remember then going through the literature partial hair loss is common in all types so patient will present with hair loss their main complaint is itching and hair loss scaling is there so they are not concerned with the lesion or something they are concerned with the hair loss so this is a common complaint when the patient turns to the डरमेटोलॉजिस्ट कि मेरे बाल झड़ रहे हैं इस जगह पे झड़ रहे हैं फिर हम पूछते हैं इचिंग है इचिंग है स्केलिंग दैट वी नोटिस एंड इट कैन बी ट्रीटेड सो दैट द रीग्रोथ ऑफ हेयर इज देयर टीनिया कैपिटिस मेनी टाइप्स एंडोथ्रिक्स एंड एक्टोथ्रिक्स एंडोथ्रिक्स इज इन देयर शैफ्ट एंड ओवर द हेयर शैफ्ट इट बिकम्स एक्टोथ्रिक्स सो फोर वेराइटीज आर देयर अपियरेंस इज वी कैन सी इट फंगल इन्फेक्शन ऑफ द स्कैल्प इन फोर वेराइटीज दिस इज द क्लिनिकल अपियरेंस grey patch black dots you will see favors is different and carrion similar to a boil so multiple patches of alopecia with scaling so first one is picture of tinea capitis with multiple patches of hair loss is there there is itching there is scaling black dot represent the remnants of hair left behind so hair which is left it will appear like a black dot so it's a fungal infection so this is a common presentation that we see in children and this the patient may be presented after a very long time of infection so it's almost so many patches of hair losses are losses there this is a black dot variety of fungal infection you will find black dots are there over the alopecia the region where loss of hair is there so these are the remnants of the hair that are uh, poking through the hair follicle so this is a gray patch variety where the lesion appears to be grayish it's a dirty gray appearance as if a dry plaque is there which is put over the scalp so there is hair loss and a gray appearance and this is favors extensive hair loss with atrophy scarring scutula yellowish adherent crust present on the scalp remaining hair appears is the scutula so this is another variety of fungal infection what we call is favors it is a much more dreaded because it leads to scarring so once scarring is there the chances of hair growth are much less and this is the fourth variety what we call is carrion it's a inflammatory type of tinea where inflammation is there there's a bogy soft bogy swelling there may be secondary bacterial infection also and if it not if it is not treated properly on time may lead to scarring of this area and finally permanent loss of hair in this region so you can see postular lesions in this bogy swelling tinea fascia as the name suggests it's over the face so we'll not discuss in details now so we have just have five more minutes to go so this is the picture of tinea fascia where you'll find a so what is the commonest presentation of a fungal infection as the name suggests it's a ring worm what we call it's like a ring in our terminology it is called types of lesions make which type of lesion is this one it's a annular lesion so central clearance is there and it becomes a, there is a boundary or border of this lesion so fungus beech ka to sara khata jata hai aur wo bahar ki taraf jata jata hai so it takes away the keratin and slowly it spreads to get the food in the surrounding region so this is a classical presentation presentation of a fungal infection if it is in the groins we call it tinea cruris over the body we call tinea corporis over the face we call tinea fasciae 
this is a case of tinea facial which is much more inflamed inflammatory type of lesion tinea barbe is in the beard area so this is the fungal infection in the beard area superficial or psychosiform type resembling bacterial folliculitis tinea corporis over the body trunk and limbs classical lesion this is the most classical lesion that we find so the fungal depletes nutrients in the center and cellular lesions are produced jaise jaise beech ka nutrient khatam hota jata hai fungal infections they spread in the surrounding region this is which type of kya bolte hain isko andar se bahar jate hain centri petal bahar se andar aata hai wo centrifugal so this is centri petal आई डोंट नो आप बताओ मुझे नहीं याद है सेंट्री फ्यूगल दिस इज सेंट्री फ्यूगल फ्रॉम सेंटर टू आउट साइड पक्का है कि मेरे तरह ही हो अभी तक अंदर से बाहर सेंट्री श्योर नेक्स्ट क्लास में मैं फ्यूगल ही बोलने वाला हूँ फिर पक्का है ओके तीन या कॉर्पोरेस सो दिस इज इन्वॉल्विंग द बटक्स एंड द ट्रंक this is the commonest presentation that we see in day to day practice nowadays we have half of the opd is tinea or fungal infection because of the heat and sweating this is presentation over the buttocks because of the scratch there is secondary bacterial infection also what we call is folliculitis or boils or pyoderma along with tinea corporis so this is classical tinea corporis recalcitrant and eczematized tinea corporis so if it is not treated patient scratches and finally it becomes eczematized so second one is untreated case of tinea corporis which leads to eczematization of the whole area so differential diagnosis in cases of tinea corporis what are the differentials from the other entities it has to be differentiated one is psoriasis so psoriasis or what is the difference between psoriasis and we have covered both the topics psoriasis or isme to bahut difference hai agar aapne pata hai to it's it's not a differential as such but sometimes treated case of psoriasis may appear like a tinea corporis or corporis because treatment may central part gets better cleared and then history is very important bulla sympatigo lichen simplex chronicus nimular eczema pityriasis rosea candidiasis tertiary syphilis tinea versicolor annular this you will just when you come for clinical posting we will show you another differential is pityriasis rosea so this is much more uh, as such in this appears but sometimes it initial lesions may be confused with tinea corporis because in rosea also lesions are they are nimular rather than annular this is erythematous extensive annular plaques on the trunk in cases of annular psoriasis so it's a variety of psoriasis where the lesions are annular so this for you may be tinea corporis but then there are certain many differentials that come part come comes in cases of tinea corporis in the next lecture thank you so much